Like, bro, he was pretty close to losing his tire. I think he'd be bouncing down the road. Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's video, we got a 2006 Ford Explorer 4x4 that needs a bushing replaced on the rear trailing arm. So we're going to jump into it. We already got it jacked up, took the tire off. I'm showing you a few of the bolts that we're going to be taking off. And we got all of them sprayed down with PB Blaster. The first one we're going to take off is a 10 millimeter. Next one is, this is a 21 millimeter. We had to use a, a bar to get us some leverage because these bad boys was on there tight. Once we got it loosened though, you can use your impact to take it on out. I ain't gonna lie to you, this job ended up sucking pretty bad. We ended up getting stuck for a little bit doing those. Anyway, here's another one, 21 millimeter. So all of them are huge and they're all rusted. They're six inches long or something. So it takes a minute to get these bad boys out. Anyway, you can see the bushing is tore up, man. Now we got to take these three off. These ones was the hardest. There just wasn't no room. With our breaker bar on, our range of motion maybe was like three or four inches. So we broke down and ended up going to buy another impact wrench. This one is a corded electric one, but it had over a thousand pounds of torque. And it actually worked really good just for that one bolt though. Because where it was so big, we couldn't get to these other bolts with it. So we had to struggle with it bad. Like, it took a while. I got it cut down and edited to look very fast. But I'm telling you, this was a hell of a job. We had to use all kinds of tricks to get these bolts out here. Even with that heavy-duty impact wrench, look, it was barely broke it loose. And it finally came off. But man, it was tough, I'm telling you. So be careful. Now you can see where we got all the bolts out so the trailing arm can be removed. But it still took us 10 minutes of fighting with it for some reason to get it out. Now once we got it out, we took it home because we're going to use the big press to press in the new bushing. Usually you got to push the old one out, but ours was so bad, it just fell out. Yeah, look at the damage of this thing, man. That tire is about to come out. You can see where the three uh, holes are where the bolts go. This whole thing is rusted. Anyway, this is where we're putting the new bushing in. I have my daughter with me. She's five. She likes working with me a little bit. So I let her tear it up. She's doing a good job, but she broke her little table here. I said, hell with it. Smash it. All right, we got our trailing arm back up. We just got to bolt it back in place. First, put this big 20 inch bolt in Jesus. So get that in there, tighten that bad boy down, doing everything just back in the reverse order. Once we get it tightened, we're going to go ahead and move on to this other bolt. Use the impact much as you can. Let's go ahead and torque it all the way down. Like I said, this job is a lot easier putting it back together. Here we are putting the three back bolts in. These are the hardest to take off and the hardest to put on. Here's another view of the top one. Like I said, you can't use the new impact or any impact uh, wrench with most of these. So your arms will be sore. Here we are putting the bottom one in. Like I said, this job might look easy, but man, I'm telling you, it was pretty difficult. Ended up taking me like four hours and we only charged 180 bucks because I thought it was only going to be a couple hours. Well, that's part of the mobile mechanic game. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And like always, Semper Fi till next time.